Welcome to my channel. Today we are taking it back old school with a Polaroid camera. To get this effect, let's head on over to Canva and I'll show you what I did. So the first thing we need to do is head over to photos and type in Polaroid camera. So you can see there's different options for you, but the one that I use personally was this pink one right here. And it is called a person a person holding a Polaroid camera. So you need to remove the background and remove the hand. Uh, I have to go out of Canva because I have the free version to do that. And so I'm just gonna go on my uploads and here's my background remove camera. So now what you wanna do is you wanna size it to however you would like your camera to be, how big, what kind of angle, if you wanna put it on an angle like I did in the intro. Um, and then what you wanna do is duplicate it. Put it on top of each other. Make sure they're lined up. Come on. And then what you want to do is you want to take that and go all the way up to that slit. So what that does now is give you the opening for your photos to come through. The next thing you want to do is go over into your elements. You can go into frames and find the Polaroid frame, or you can type in this Polaroid photo frame. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab that real quick. I'm going to take this rainbow part right here and I'm going to turn that to black. So that'll give me the black image of my Polaroid. And then now what I'm going to do is size and angle it to fit my camera. Let me make it a tad bit smaller. Now that I got it the way I want to, how many photos I'm going to use. So I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to stack it on top. Duplicate, stack it on top. Duplicate and stack it on top. Now what I want to do is I want to not, don't group these, just highlight them together and then move them into position. So you want them above that lip. So the next thing you want to do is go into position, take your top part of your camera and move it up in front. So now I have a problem. My problem is you can see the photos behind my camera. So what I want to do is put a background with it. So I like using the concrete background. If you've seen my stuff, you know I like using the concrete. So I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to set it as the background. And then I'm going to take another piece of this. Kind of get it. Hopefully it doesn't snap on me. And I'm going to try to make it big enough where I can just get grab a small little section of this. Oops, not like that though. A little small section of this and cover that. So I want to cover that up. So if you're using like a just a solid background, it'll be easy, easy. You just grab a square real quick and do it. And then I'm going to go into my position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind that camera. And now you cannot see my photos. That's step one. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. We want our flash. So for the flash, I used a white lens flare. So let's go over and grab one of those. And I'm going to size it to the size that I want. Put it over top of here. I'm going to go into animate. I am going to hit stomp and I'm going to put it on enter. That's what I want to do with my first one. Now my first setup is done. Now I want to go in here and I want to duplicate that page. Now that I have my page duplicated, what I want to do now is go into position and I want to grab my first photo and I want to slide it out. Now, I don't want my flash to keep flashing, so what I'm going to do, I think my photos are a little big, but that's okay, is I'm going to control C, and I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to delete it on this one, because it already flashed in the first one, so after it flashes, the photo comes out. But I want to copy it, because every time I want to flash, I want a photo to come out. So now I have my photo out. The next thing I'm going to do is duplicate my page again. I'm going to have my photo come and go wherever I want it to go. So I want it to kind of go down here. Then I'm going to duplicate my page again. I'm going to go over. I have some saved in elements, so I'm just going to go to elements. You can go into your photos, wherever you're going to go and grab a photo. So we'll grab him here. And if the, you know, sometimes if they're big like that, they don't go into the frame so well. You just, all you have to do is shrink them up and they'll go into the frame. So what I want to do now, now I have my first one gone. 
You can go after this and create another one and then do the flash and come out and start all over if you want to. But what I did is I just went ahead because while that one was coming out and developing, I took another picture. So what I did is control V, put my flash back on there while that's developing and you can go and duplicate the page, take your flash off, go into position, go to the next one up top and pull the next one out. So now what we want to do is we want to go in between each one. We're going to go in between each one, go into match and move. You know me, I always turn it all the way up. And then I want to go and change these to, let's see, about 1.8. Let's do 1.8 and see what that does. And enter. And then all, uh, let's do all, apply to all pages. Now let's see what our animation is looking like. So I do my flash, my photo pops out. Oh, my matches, I didn't apply between all pages. Y'all look, see, I boo-booed. I boo -booed. All right, so now we're going to do this. We're going to go out, over, it develops, the next one snaps, out, and then we're going to just do again. We're going to go and we're going to duplicate this page. Now that we have this out, we're going to move this one over. Let's say over, let's slide it over kind of like this way. And what do you want to do now is move the position of that one above the other one because you want to kind of stack it. Once you've got that movement done, duplicate your page again, go into your photos or uploads or wherever and grab your next photo. So we'll grab her. Okay, she doesn't want to snap either. Come on, baby, come on down, come on down. And there she goes. And of course, when I do that, I'm going to go to Control V, have my photo snapping. I'm going to duplicate the page. Now I want to take that off. On the next page, I'm going to go position. I'm going to grab my next one down and I'm going to sh 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 it down. And then what I want to do now is duplicate the page again. I'm going to get that movement going over here. Let's go that way with this and then move that to the top like so. And then duplicate the page and then go into your photos, wherever you're grabbing your photos from, and grab your next image. Oh, 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 she almost, oh, come on. There she goes. All right. So for some reason, my match and move did not travel. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab this match and move here, and I'm going to apply it between all the pages. And then I want to grab what I had here and go and apply this between all the pages, and now it's even. So let's see what we got. So let's see. Cross your fingers, everybody. One, over, it's developing. The next one just finished taking the picture. There we go. The next one, it's developing. The next one, come on. The next one, over, developing. And you just keep doing that. And that's how you create this effect. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye, love, Michelle.